Alright folks, God bless you and welcome to This Is It Before the Fire. Guys, I, uh, first of all, I'm sorry it's taken me a few days to get to you, but trust me when I tell you like the wounds I'm going to show you just on my hands alone are just ridiculous. I've been working my bleeding on both hands, uh, just diligently working. Um, so... His purpose, Christ, was to make one new man from the two, thus making peace. That's what Ephesians 2 it says. Um, for those of y'all that have been coming to my channel for a while, y'all are really going to enjoy this. For those of y'all that are new, um, let me explain something to you. I <clears throat> I don't know how new you know a lot of people are. People come in at different segments. But the people that have been here for a while know that if I tell you I can do something, if I tell you I can use the scriptures to prove something, I always deliver. I don't say it without being able to deliver it. Also, in the past, when the Lord would, would reveal uh, scriptural revelation and spiritual gifting, which the Lord has gifted me with the gift of knowledge, I tell everybody, I used to tell everybody, go get your spatula. And that was a a way to tell people you're going to be like, because the information that I'm going to drop today requires a spatula. And, and the meaning behind that is your jaw is going to be hanging open so wide, you'll need a spatula to pick your jaw up. And then, as the Lord would reveal even bigger information, I'd tell everybody you might need a bigger spatula to go get a bigger spatula. And then the information started getting really insane. And I'd say, you guys need the biggest spatula you got. Well, let me show you the spatula I got for today's program. <laughs> You're going to need a spatula this big to get your jaw off the ground, what I'm going to show you today, folks. Oh, yeah. Now, I've been accumulating the data for over days, and the way it works with the gift of knowledge, it never stops. It just keeps flowing, and it's like laying on of hands. When when you go lay hands on somebody, when the Lord has me lay hands on someone, uh, it's not my choice. I don't get to choose who I lay hands on. The Lord sends me, or he brings the person into my hemisphere, like Juan the plumber that was blind in one eye. I mean, isn't it, how weird is it? A guy that was blind in one eye. One eye was blind. And the Lord had me lay hands on a plumber I didn't even know. Out in front of my house, in his, his eyesight. He was blind. And his eyesight was restored within 15 minutes. He, he freaked out. You should, it's on, a, it's on YouTube. I think it's called Juan. His name's Juan Langoria, so kind of the joke was it was Juan, like one in the spirit, Juan in the spirit. Obi, Juan Kenobi. <laughs> anyway, but yeah. So Juan's eyesight was restored within 15 minutes in a tunnel under the house I'm in. It's really interesting because when doctors do surgery on your eyes and they take off the patch, they always turn the lights off. We were in a dark tunnel under the house when it happened. It was unbelievable. Anyway, so without getting into too much stuff, I want you all to take a look at this picture just for a sec. I want to just take a look. I want y'all just to look at this. Just kind of soak that up for a sec. <laughs> just take it up. I like the S and the tail of this serpent bean. There you go. S, Satan, S19, slaughter. This is one race, one race right here, slaughtering another race. Now, right here over to the left, you have a girl. You know, this has been a, this is a fascinating picture too. They're, they're, they're having this kiss, right, on the beach. And look at their reflections in the sand right here. You know, uh, this is nostalgic. You know, I've, I've had that. I've had that kiss before where it seemed like the perfect, the perfect moment, whatever. Just, you know, that moment in time where you're with someone you really love 
you're in a beautiful place and it's just like, wow, this is kind of magical, you know, kind of like this picture looks right here. Well, this is the truth of the system that you're in right here over to the right. Now, I don't want everybody, oh, true love exists. Okay, go watch The Princess Bride. I know. True love. I'm going to make a statement now, okay? And then I'm going to back up my statement. I'm going to take these little spatulas. I'm going to take all these. This is a pretty big spatula. I'm going to take those and get rid of those. By the way, I'm going to make sure I show you uh, when you're a skydiver, you get Parachutist Magazine monthly. I'm going to show you just a, a normal ad. Should be no big deal. Get, get G'd up from A to Z. You know why it's G'd up instead of geared up? You know why? See, it says get G'd up. Get G'd up. Because G is the seventh letter of the alphabet. D, destroy up. See, we're in a system where there's up and down, and down is sent to destroy up. Evil, evil destroy, tries to destroy good in the system down destroys up. But let me show this to you real quick. There we go. Here's the system you're in. Okay, here we go. So up and then in the opposite position is down. The word ana is up in Greek and kata is down. Pay very close attention now. Ana is up, Kata is down. Jesus is up, Satan is down. Light is up, dark is down. They are in opposition to each other. Good is up, evil is down. So, just like Paul on the road to Damascus, he told, he told, he told, you know, King Agrippa, that when Jesus called him, he called him to call people from darkness to light, from the power of Satan to God. So he called people to switch them from down to up. It even says it. I've shown it to you. I've broken down the words in Greek. I showed it right in front of you. To open their eyes. The word open their eyes means to turn up. That's how you get someone converted. The word converted means to turn quite around. That's the exact definition. To turn quite around, the opposite direction. To turn quite around. That's how you get converted. So, get your spatulas. I'll put mine over there. Okay. Now, I'm going to sip on some coffee and I'm going to deliver information tonight. The end. The end of the world. I'll look you in the eye. The end of the world is at the door. It is imminent. Okay? There you go. Now, I'm going to... I'm going to kick that back a little bit. Now I'm going to show you a quote from Ezekiel with a girl's tattoo. Okay, now this girl's got a tattoo of a beetle in her arm and she's making a triangle like a letter V. See the letter V? And then when she opens her arm, that beetle, that insect, by the way, that's called a Hercules beetle, it opens up and it flies. But let me show you what the cryptic meaning is. This is a rudimentary image drawn of a female vagina. And this right here is the exact same thing. Here's another rudimentary image. And when the completion of this is, is over, then what's being birthed down in the pit opens their wings and they fly. Wherefore, thus saith the Lord God, Behold, I am against your pillows, wherewith you hunt the souls of men to make them fly. I will tear them from your arms and let the souls go, even the souls that ye hunt, to make them fly. 
Well, God has given me with, gifted me with the gift of knowledge, the gift of understanding the word of God. He has diligently trained me in understanding his word since the night I got saved. Now, let me share it with you, okay? Let me just share with you what he's given to me. Okay, you ready? Here we go, guys. Now, everybody open up folder five. We're going to get folder five. And we're going to start with some, you know what? We're not going to start. We're going to start with Taylor Swift. I forgot. I need to make my statement now. I forgot. I want to slow down. Okay. You may think that, you know, there's this romance thing going on. I've, I've, I've had the romance. I've been there. I've been in love. Is that what it was? Up there on the wall, I have what love is. First Corinthians 13. You know, it's funny, the love that I experienced in this world, it never matched 1 Corinthians 13 with any partner, any any female I was with. It never really equaled that ever. I, w I was married once to uh, a girl named Dorothy, and she died of cancer when she was only 27. And that was seven years. We only had two fights in seven years. So that was pretty impressive. But after that, it was all pretty much downhill. So anyway, so I have had a relationship with someone who was like my best friend in this world. But I find it interesting that the Lord God made sure that that person was removed from my life before I ever began ministry. That was the beginning of him drawing me in. So let's take a look at this Taylor Swift lover thing. I'm going to show you this. Now I'm going to make a statement. This is a video by Taylor Swift. It's called Lover. And I'm just going to go through. It starts with a little It starts with the little girl. I'm going to make sure I turn the volume off. It starts with the little girl. She's sitting there at Christmas. Let me turn the playback speed. Hang on one sec, guys. Let me change all these settings so it doesn't give me a codec. Little girl sitting there at Christmas and then she opens up her, her gift and it's a snow globe how perfect it's a snow globe and in the snow globe there's rooms in the snow globe and then it shows her going in look on the look on the door as you approach the door it's a red cross see the red cross right here there's a red cross and then as you go you go into the little people and you go into this world and there's taylor swift with her boyfriend or I guess the guy in her video, she starts singing her song. You can go listen to the song. It's in the, it's in the show notes. This guy's, you know, they're decorating the apartment. Then it switches from this scene to, now watch very closely. It goes from this scene to this scene where they're sitting on the ceiling. Okay. And then you can, you know, you can watch the video. She's playing her song. It shows them like two goldfish in a fishbowl. You know, kind of like the Pink Floyd song, right? And then at the one... 106 mark, I believe. Let me see here real quick. There we go. At the 106 mark, 107, 108, 109. There we go. It says, the only game that questions your answers, devils roll the dice and angels roll their eyes. Now I'm going to make the statement. Okay, you ready? What the Lord's taught me, what the Lord's shown me biblically, and I can prove it. I can prove it all day long using the Bible. All day, no, all day long, scripture after scripture after scripture. There's no scriptures that don't support it. So Jesus said, if you love the world, the love of God you, is not in you. If you love the world and the things of the world, the love of God is not in you. Wait a minute. I thought the world's this wonderful, well, God, you know, God made the world and made us in his image. No, Elohim made man in his own image. In Genesis 2, the Lord God, the self-existent eternal Jehovah, which I've shown you is Jesus, the self-existent eternal Jehovah, he put into the system Adam as his representative, 
So he could maintain control over the whole system and bring back anyone he wants, any sheep he wants out of here, he can get because he was willing to come into the system in the flesh. The flesh is contrary to the spirit. He could come in through the flesh, born of a virgin, which is the way they started the system, and he could redeem whoever he wants by dying on a cross as a sinless sacrifice for them leaving and going into a different system where they committed spiritual fornication which is what we're all doing. Once you come into the system, there's two spirits at work, and we are committing spiritual fornication in this system. Now, I'm going to make my statement. The world is one elaborate death trap. It's, it's a decoration. Even the Bible says it, calls it a decoration. The world is truly a vampire. The whole thing is. Now, I'm going to show you all this data. I'm going to show you COVID. I'm going to show you COVID testing facilities. I'm going to show you Joe Biden aligning himself with these people like Billy Ellish and, you know, the other Cardi B. I'm going to show you Lady Gaga and this scorpion stinger thing that they're all doing. Why are they all doing a scorpion stinger? Well, what's the end of the Bible? What does it say? It says in the very end, the pits can open. And what's going to happen when the pit opens? A bunch of insect like locusts are coming out of the pit. They're going to have tails like scorpions. So it would make sense that the above ground race, their eyes and the ears, their centuries that are the above ground race, the eyes and the ears of the scorpions from the pit, kind of like an avatar system, not kind of exactly like an avatar system. The word scorpion means sentry or scout, and it means a scorpion from its sting. That's what the Democratic logo is. It's a, it's a stinger. It's a, it's a like a spear tip, piercing those other two um, legs of the star. I'll show it to you again. Everything the Democrats are doing is exactly aligning with the Bible right now. So, again, the Earth is one thing and one thing only. It's an energy transfer system. It's an elaborate, elaborate killing field. And so, let me show you what it is. Devils roll the dice. So here's here's Taylor Swift. Here she is. She's in her. Look, there's it. They go from this scene. They go from they go from here to here, upside down. Then they're dancing, and then they're jumping in their they're jumping in their fishbowl. Then they're sitting there playing the guitar. Taylor's singing, and then after that, it goes to Devils roll the dice. Afterglow, so there we go. Hang on, devils roll the die. Let's see, devils roll the dice. Let me pause it. I want to show you something. First of all, this finger does not have a fingernail. Do y'all know any girls ever, ever that do their nails and walk around with their index finger without a fingernail? That's a trip to the salon. I've been there, done it, seen it. It's just not even, they don't do it. I broke a nail. It's off to the salon, get the nail fixed. Okay. But why would you have it on a box game where there's one, one fingernail missing off your index finger? I know why. It's a raptor claw. And the reason I'm, I, I know it's a raptor claw is because I drew it in. I draw in the changes of shadow. Hang on one sec. Okay. Sorry about that. Anyway, I had to grab the door. Um, it's a rat. That's a raptor claw. That is a raptor claw. You know, everybody thinks that that's 666. It is. It's the flesh. It's also more than that. Let me show you something. Devils roll the dice. Angels roll their eyes. Like your eyes get turned upside down. Let me show you something. Y'all ready to freak out? Okay, this will be the first spatula moment. There's, there are so many spatula moments during this video that you guys need to go get a couple different spatulas. But let's go ahead and let's get down to this. Okay, so here we are. We're in folder five. We are in folder five. You can see right here I have devils roll the dice. And then I have right here, you'll see this raptor claw. but Let's take a look at this one. I'm going to enlarge 241.336. Ready? 
241 and then 336. I colored these in yellow. They're grouped together. 241 and then 336. Okay, so let me just show you what's going on. Now, remember, I told you Genesis 1 was a serpent race that was getting started made by Elohim. Let us create as a trap, a trap, a snare for God's angels. Watch. Now, let's see. We'll do 241 first because it's a 241 is another race of another race, another nation, a foreigner. What does the Bible say about us? Live out your life as exiles, as foreigners. You know what? Let me prove it. Live out your life as exiles. First Peter, Bible Gateway. So here we go. It says, since you call on the Father who judges these persons work impartially, live out your life as time as foreigners here in reverent fear. Live out your life as, life as temporary residents. Live, conduct yourself with fear throughout the time of your exile. Live, conduct yourselves in reverent fear of God during your stay as foreigners. So we're foreigners. We're foreigners. We're exiles. Let's go back here. So Taylor Swift, right here, in her video, right here, 241 and then 3 C3. So the 2, the 4, and the 1 that are coming out of the hand that's rolling the dice means foreigner exiles of another nation. Do y'all know how many scriptures in the Bible about God chastening his people for interacting with other nations and, and, and even breeding with them? Did you know even in the Bible, it told, the Lord God told Saul, I want you to go kill these people. I want you to kill every man, woman, child, and nursing child. Why? Why would you go kill all the kids? That's kind of harsh. Right? I mean, we're loving God, right? The Lord God, though. Go and kill all of them. Every man, woman, child, and nursing child. Why? What if you can't see what's behind the skin? What if what's behind the skin is so evil and malevolent that only God the Father, God the Lord God knew it, and he didn't want his people breeding with it? Now, so here we go. So here we go. She's rolling the dice. I can tell you that's not very good artwork for a girl's hand. No girl leaves her index finger unnailed if she broke it. And why would you put it on a box? Why? I mean, what? If you're doing a box that's a game, why would you make one nail not on the index finger? That's weird. Because it's a raptor claw. I can see it clearly. This is a raptor claw. So, two, four, one. It means another nation. You know what? I'm going to move this all the way over here. 241 means of another race, of another nation. And now, what's that other, what's that other number? 336. So let's go look at 336. This thing's going to populate 336. Of another race, of another nation, and 336. A taking up destroying, slain, taking away, taking away of life, killing, slaughter, slain, murder, taking up a destroying, slain, and slaughter. Well, that's quite a game you got going, Taylor. We intermingled, but the battle's inside of us with them inside. And to beat them, you have to surrender. There's a band called Slipknot. I've actually partied with those guys here in San Antonio. You know what a Slipknot is? A Slipknot's like a, you know, it's like a loop. You make a loop at the end of a rope, and then you push the rope through it. And whatever you put, when you pull it, the harder you pull, the tighter it gets. It's a Slipknot. 
That's like our condition. The harder you pull, the tighter it gets. If you, oh, I'm not going to smoke. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to. You have to surrender and just say, Lord, I can't do it. I can't do it on my own. You have to surrender and you have to be converted. You have to see the world as it really is. You'll know the truth and the truth will set you free. Unless you're converted, turn quite around. You will not enter the kingdom of heaven. Look at what you're looking at. You are looking up uh, a taking up, taking away, destroying, slain, murder, taking away of life, killing, slain, murder. Did you know there's a drink called 7-Up? Look, I'll show it to you. Okay, 7-Up. There you go, right there. There's 7-Up. See it? You see that red circle right there? Do you know what that really is? That's a female egg. Do you know what this green little swoosh is? You see the stinger going through it? You see the tip of the stinger going into it? See the little bubbles? 7-Up. So let me show you what 7 means. Strong's 7. To perish, to destroy. So look. Destroy, destroy, perish, to destroy, to perish. Seven up, because again, just like I showed you, it's all about down, destroying up, evil, destroying good, dark, destroying light, Satan, destroying Jesus, Kata and Anna, are, they're all in opposition to each other. So seven up, the drink, means destroy up. In the end, everything secret will be made public. The Lord told me a long time ago, Jonathan, I'm going to use you to solve the rule of ages. Many times I thought it was all done, but man, there's a lot of knowledge. <laughs> there's a lot going on here. So seven up, destroy up, strongs, seven, destroy up. Let's go back to Taylor Swift. A taking up, a destroying, slain. Wow, so Taylor Swift's video, Devils Roll the Dice, and angels roll their eyes. Well, let me let me show you let me show you some more pictures with Taylor Swift. Sorry, but y'all are just gonna have to bear with some of the scrolling. These folders are getting huge. So let me let me show you some right here. I just the Lord told me, Jonathan, draw in the shadows. I heard the Lord tell me draw in the shadows. I'm like, oh damn, it's a raptor claw. Look right there. You see that? That's a raptor claw. I'm like, oh, wow. And the thumb goes with it. That's why this finger doesn't have a fingernail on it. Oh, you see right here? There's no fingernail, but these all have fingernails. And so I'm going to draw, I'm going to draw the thumb in with it. And then I'm going to show you a raptor claw. Did you ever wonder why Barack Obama, the president, in his presidential photo, in his presidential portrait, he's a serpent in the Garden of Eden. I'm sure, you know what? Let me just show it to you. Let me just show it. Okay, now remember the same guy that did the Barack Obama presidential portrait also did this other painting. And on that painting, on the frame, let me show you what he put. Sperm fertilizing an egg. See the sperm fertilizing the egg on the frame of the paint? The painting by Kikinde Wiley, there it is. So he also says he likes to put sperm in his painting, taking little shots at masculinity and its bravado. I basically memorized what he said. But let's look at Barack Obama with not only a serpent behind him, but a T-Rex. Let me just take this and show Okay, here's when I was working on the Barack Obama presidential portrait. I did this, is this is a clear plastic layover, and right here on this side, this is the head of a T-Rex. There's the eye, there's the eyebrow like a horn above its eye, the other side, here's the open mouth, there's I put the teeth, and this becomes the back of the T-Rex right here. It makes several different things, but here's a T-Rex right here. So imagine this, Barack Hussein Obama's presidential portrait is a T-Rex. How weird is that? Why? Because it's all true. You know what T-Rex means? Tyrant Lizard King. Now, let me show you. Let me enlarge that picture, and I'll just show you, and it's very obvious. There it is. I drew in everything. There's the T-Rex. There's the eye. There's the open mouth. 
I saw the way he bent the leaves to make the teeth. All this stuff is done with intent. Right here, the, in the, the whole thing, the cumulative sum of the image becomes a serpent with this being one eye of the serpent, this being the other eye. I'll go to a homogenous picture where it's all green. But let me show you the fangs. There's a fang right there. There's the other fang right there. And this fang becomes a sperm. And there's a little turn right at the corner of his eye. And it has a tail. And the fang of the serpent is a sperm. Because that represents one race being the venom that takes over the other race. That's why Barack Obama is the serpent in the garden. And let me just show you. Here it is. I just drew it in just real, just real, real, real bluntly right here. That's a serpent. There's the eye of the serpent. There's the eye coming down the nose and the mouth's open. And I've drawn all this in meticulously. I don't want to go hunt down every picture I've drawn, but I want to make sure you see it. Why do you think the scorpions have an album called The Moment of Glory? Scorpions, The Moment of Glory. Look at the T-Rex. It's a female wearing earring. It's a female. They're showing that the T-Rex is a female. And guys, when I, I told you the Genesis 1 video is coming and you talk about a segue to that video, pay attention. Because this is going to segue into Genesis 1. That's why the Lord's had me hold off on it. I knew he was going to give me more data just to support it. So here is the scorpions, the band of scorpions. What comes out of the pit? Scorpions come out of the pit. Why does it say moment of glory? Because maybe what started as the dinosaurs, the T-Rex and all that, ended up as what's taking over now. Do you ever consider it? I can prove it. Here we go. Moment of glory. The scorpions. Oh, interesting. So their little evolutionary process starts with the trap. They trap angels. They get them in the trap. They destroy them. And it's a way to get out of the pit. Here I've taken a T-Rex and I just simply put it right there. So I can put it right on top of Obama. And you can see that's a T-Rex even with his back bent over. There it is. There's no doubt about it. That's a serpent. Let me go down a little further and show you a couple more things. And then we'll go back. Here's another painting Kahinde Wiley did. And this has a set of twin females. And here's a raptor. And look right there on the girl's hand. Ready? You see right here? The raptor. Her hand is a raptor. I was always wondering, why is this twin girl's hand a raptor? And I'll hold on to this and I'll enlarge it. Ready? Watch the raptor go right onto her hand. Bam. You see the raptor? The ring on her finger is the eye of the raptor. Take a look. I'll slide the raptor up now. Ready? Boop, 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 boop. Bam. It's a twin female system. One female and another female, and it's cannibalistic. There you go. Okay, there you go. So you look at what you're looking at right now. Do you understand what you're looking at? The same artist that did that picture did the presidential portrait. That artist, Kahinde Wiley, he's got twin girls with a raptor on the twin. One girl's holding the other girl, and her hand is a raptor. I'm showing you Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift. Lover. Let's look at that again. Devils roll the dice. Let's take a look at that hand now. Let's go and see has Johnny really done his homework. The Lord always has me do my homework. Let's take a look. Let's take a look at this. And I put in this and then I'll... There you go. That's a raptor claw. See the raptor claw? Why do you think they didn't put a nail on this finger? Because they're really, they are, they were the dinosaurs. They were the evolutionary process to create man on this place. They were, that's who Elohim was. And they are changing form with it. There you go. Look at that. Devils. Roll the dice. That's a raptor claw, folks. I love you in Christ. What's that? Two, four, one. Foreigner to slaughter and murder. Angels. So devils, roll the dice. Foreigner, strangers, slaughter. 
angels roll their eyes, get turned upside down. Wow. Oh, that's funny. She did it in the video too, right? Let's see. She did do that in her video, right? She did turn everything upside down, didn't she? She went from that picture to that picture. They are on the ceiling, aren't they? I mean, or is it just me? Notice I didn't use the big spatula yet. <laughs> why do you think, look, why do you think Barack Obama is a Tyrannosaurus Rex in the presidential portrait? That's insane. Why do you think Kehinde Wiley, the same guy that did the picture of the twins, did the presidential portrait? He, he was commissioned by Barack Obama. That's why. Of course he was. Why do you think all this stuff adds up? 241 and 336. Okay, now let's go back to the top and let's 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 grab this let's grab this picture right here. I'm gonna I'm gonna try and click that and still grab the uh see if I can grab the raptor claw. Let's see. Okay, so. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to do a move I haven't done previously. Now, I'm going to have to try and just move it. Give me one second. Okay, I got it. Okay, so again, let me just reiterate. So you have clothing lines called Hunted for Dinner, right? Clothing lines, Hunted for Dinner. Broken Promises, Scorpions. Lurking Class, Turn It Upside Down, It's a Bug. It's the Grim Reaper, you Turn It Upside Down, It's a Bug Hatching. All these things I've shown you repetitively. Watch this. 1964. This is this is a 400. See 400. It's really hunted for dinner. D i n n u h. Hunted for dinner. 1964. So 1964. Let's do it. Strong's 19. Y'all should know what that is. What is it? It's slaughter, right? Strong's 19, slaughter. See right there, slaughter. Strong's 19 means slaughter. Okay, let's, let's look up 64. This is hunted for dinner, a clothing line. To take by hunting and catching. To catch by hunting. I, to ca catch, take by hunting, capture. To catch and capture and take by hunting. Slaughter. And to catch by hunting, hunted for dinner, red Adam cream semen. Got your spatulas out? Told you. <laughs> I'm not joking. Okay, 19 slaughter, 64, to catch, to take by hunting. And you're telling me, it just happens to be 400, which is hunted for dinner. Yeah, okay. That's probably one in a trillion. Here's Taylor Swift on the ceiling. She just turned everything upside down. She's white. He's black. You got the difference in color there. They call good, bad, bad, good, white, black, black, white. And then at the 109 mark, it turns into devils. Roll the dice. A raptor claw. 241, another race of foreigner to slaughter. 336. If you don't believe me, let's look it up together. The angel, the numbers are 336. Three uh, on the dice, 336. You can't make this stuff up, folks. 
And just, uh, I'll reiterate this one time, then we'll move on. I just want you to see it one more time. A taking up, a destroying, slain, taking a look, taking away of life, killing, slain, murder. A foreigner, murdering a foreigner. You are foreigners and strangers. Live out your life in reverent fear because we're being hunted our whole freaking lives. What does the Bible say? Your worst enemies will be members of your own household. Children will rise against their parents and cause them to be killed. Father will turn against son, brother against brother to the point of death. Your worst enemies, worst enemies are members of your own household. How is that possible? Well, if they're the raptor race that got things going in Genesis 1, like Barack Obama, and they're the serpent race, and all they're doing is washing us out of the system in a host body system, because, the, like I said, the statement in the beginning is, the world is simply an elaborate hunting trap. That's all it is. That's all it is. So, you know, a lot of people think maybe they, you know, maybe, you know, maybe, you know, they've gotten past their illusion of believing, you know, that it's something other than that, or they haven't gotten past. But I'm telling you, you look right there. That is a raptor. That is, don't even look at this finger on top. Forget about this finger right here. Just right, going right here, go down, follow the line, follow the line. That's a raptor with an open mouth. Does anybody hold their pinky out like that? No, that's designed to be a raptor. That's what it is. So now the twin female system plays into it again. Again, remember that. Remember that. I'll bring it up when I do the, the Genesis 1 video. All right, so there it is. And then y'all remember the Little Deviants commercial? What happens in the Little Deviants commercial? The Little Deviant puts on a suit of sheepskin and then he slaughters the sheep. But what's the Deviant got on his face? An X. An X, female chromosome. It's female sex chromosome. So it's the female energy. He slips into a suit to make himself look like the other sheep. Sorry about that. It, Pick the wrong picture. The same exact agenda is in the Vatican. The same exact thing is in the Vatican. A guy holding a suit of skin, another race. They look human, but they're not. So there is the little deviant putting on the suit of skin so he can slaughter the sheep. Let's see if this album's got uh, the commercial. Let's just go ahead and play the commercial. Maybe it's in this album. Let me show you Barack Obama's forehead in the in the painting. Let me show you his forehead in the painting that's got the serpent with the mouth open. Why is there a big sperm right here that makes a fang right here? See the fang? That's the fang, guys. Why is there another smaller sperm and it's being eaten by a serpent? There's a serpent eating the smaller sperm. And there's a big sperm that's a fang. Now I know why. I saw the imagery. I'm just like, What? Now I know why. We all know why. It's true. One big sperm, the fang of the serpent, eats a smaller sperm. Adam. That's it. Seven up. Destroy up. Okay, now let's see. That's why Barack Obama has so barca on the back of his par passport. So barca is hakrabios backwards, which means scorpion goddess of the dawn let's see here we go a family vacation in a verbo means leaving okay so here's kahine wiley that did the presidential portrait listen closely they're talking about me and he can be mischievous Take a close look at Napoleon leading the army across the Alps. In small ways, I'm taking little jabs at the, the, the masculinity, the, the, the bravado. It, it, even with the fact that there's sperm cells, all the, the bravado. It, it, even with the fact that there's sperm cells. 
the, the, the bravado. It, it, even with the fact that there's sperm cells, all sperm cells, all sperm cells, all sperm cells, all of this taking this masculinity down to its most essential component. Down to its most essential component, sperm cells. Like on the corner of that portrait right here, there's a egg being fertilized by the sperm. Why Barack Hussein Obama is got sperm on his forehead is the fangs of a serpent. There's a serpent in the garden, guys. There's the eye of the serpent. There's the eye of the serpent coming down. There's the fang wide open, and it's a sperm. The fang is a sperm. Love you in Christ. Don't care what anybody says. I've drawn it in line for line. It's a damn snake. And the fang of the snake is a sperm. End of story. You know what? There's a drink called Serpent's Bite. Serpent's Bite has a sperm too. There you go. It's a bust. Now, let's keep moving on. So, Taylor Swift, Devils Roll the Dice. She's got a raptor claw. Now, watch this. I'm going to go back and I'm going to show you that raptor claw. Because I took it from a movie called Fallen World. And I was like, oh, wow, check this out. Now, I'm going to click on this and I'm going to grab this raptor claw right here. And there you go. You see the raptor claw right here from Fallen World? Look at that. This is a raptor claw. And that's one race. That's the raptor race. The serpent race destroying, slaughtering the foreigners, which are us. Devils roll the dice and angels roll their eyes because we're the foreigners and our eyes got rolled in their system. Ha ha, ha ha, ha ha. But guess what? I'm your indictment. <laughs> Y'all are done. Done. Yep. So, I can assure you, your, your judgment is coming, guys. Those of y'all that are double downs, y'all's part, party is on the way, I can assure you. Now, let me go back and let me just break all this down and start showing you. Let me show you a game called Pamela Inverted, and I'll show you my canopy. It's a game called, I'm sorry, Patima Inverted. Look at the guy. His feet are on the ground, but he's upside down. And look, though. Look what's around him. He's in like a prison camp. He's fenced in. See it? He's fenced in. I guess it's a film. Patima. Look what it makes. It makes an X right side up, upside down. Two different energies intersecting. Let us create them male and female. So they did create them male and female. So let us create man in our image. So in the image of Elohim created he him, male and female created he them. There you go. Now, remember I told you everything's about five and five. Uh-oh. Let's see. Let me go down one more. That's kind of weird. V, there you go. So a double, it makes a double U. Well, when you take a one five and you invert it with another five, half and half, you get this. I'll click on this and I'll hold on to this. There you go. That's the system. Male and female system. There it is right there. You're looking at it. You are looking at the world as it truly is. You are looking at the methodology, the symptom, the outward manifestation, the methodology, their method. That's what methodology means. The methods that they use to put their stuff right in front of you. You're asleep. They don't care that it's in front of you because they know you're asleep. You have to be converted to wake up. Arise, O sleeper. Wake up from the dead. Do you get it now? It's bigger than people thought, isn't it? Okay, now watch. Let's look at Jonathan's parachute that the Lord told Jonathan to have made into jump in Grand Junction. V for vengeance. Wow. It says V with the number four vengeance one way and V for four, V with the number four vengeance the other way. And look, 
it makes an X. I wonder if that's a coincidence. By the way, that's a spatula moment. <laughs> that's insane. That's just totally insane. Get it? V up, V down. X marks a spot. You got a V up and a V down. And that's why that altar at St. Peter's was so important. So there it is. That's my canopy right there. V for vengeance. I did what the Lord said. I told you I'm a harbinger. Yep. Now let me show you how obvious this is. Now let's let's kind of roll back. Let's look at Cardi B with the most filthy, disgusting video on YouTube so far that I've seen. And it's she her hand, that's her hand making a scorpion stinger, not just one way. And all she does is talk about the act of intercourse in a very dirty way. Just dirty. So here's one scorpion stinger one way right here. And then here's one the other way. I mean, I'm like, wow. They In the video, look. So she has on a glove and she has on these insanely long fingernails. So it makes a scorpion stinger behind her back. So she's manifesting a scorpion stinger. Well. Let me show you Lady Gaga right here at the, I think, VMA or MTV Music Awards, maybe. And so here's the, here's the Lady Gaga video. Thank you, uh, whoever left this and showed this, left this in my feed. So you see the X on the screen? See the big X? And then it kind of, let me turn the volume off. And it segues over to Lady Gaga. That uh, goes over to Lady Gaga, and she's sitting down on the sofa. And there she is. What is is that supposed to be the back of a chair or something right here? Is that is that really supposed to be the back of the chair? That's a scorpion stinger, guys. And Lady Gaga is sing, sitting under a scorpion stinger. And then what she do? She gets up. She stands up. And she slides down this post. So there she goes. She slides down a pole. She slides down a pole. And then she starts dancing like a stripper. Well, that's interesting. And she's got a mask on. It's got a cross in the middle, oddly enough. And they all jump around and do their weird little occult dance. Now, let me show you another one. Here is... Cardi B I'm sorry Billy Ellish okay so here is a video from Billy Ellish all the good girls go to hell and it shows her being cast down there she goes she's being cast down uh, out of heaven there she goes and she goes in and she splats and it shows like splat. She lands in. She's all, you know, distraught. She gets up. She starts walking, singing her song, telling her God is going to owe her, Lucifer. And just go look up the lyrics yourself. And as she's walking down the street, all these trees are catching on fire. Go watch the video. She turns around. And when she turns around, she makes a W with the wings. It makes a W. And I've been showing you that over and over. But look over here. Look right here in the flames. Look right here. As she's singing her song, look what's going on in the flames. See, see the girls dancing, the strippers? Look over here in the flame. Look over here. See them? And she's walking and her wings make the big W because the angels that want, went after strange flesh that wanted to have sex with human women. That's what the whole world's about. That's what the whole thing is. It was a trap. The whole thing was a trap. So whatever your perception of the world is, I just showed you Barack Obama, the president of the United States. His presidential portrait is a freaking Tyrannosaurus Rex. No question about it. He is also the serpent in the garden. The fang of the serpent is a sperm. There's a serpent eating a smaller sperm. Stop and try and wrap your brain around that. 
I just showed you, just showed you, Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift, lover. Name of it is Lover. Going into her, shows her as a little girl. Little girl goes into this little snow globe, representing those of us that went in. We went in. You got your show. That's why there's a red cross on the door. You got your little thing. You got your lover. And then there you are. And then you got your world turned upside down. That's why they're sitting on the ceiling. That's why they're on the ceiling. And then next thing you know, they're in their little house and they're playing their game. And the game that they're playing is devils roll the dice, angels roll their eyes. And again, the numbers on the dice tell you exactly what's going on. I haven't even started with the COVID stuff. I just want to nail this down. I want to pound this into your head. This is Taylor Swift. This is Lady Gaga. This is Cardi B. These are the people that are propping up the uh, presidential candidate, Joe Biden. All these people I showed you are propping up this candidate. What does that tell you? The, the, their logo is Baphomet. <laughs> That's like, do y'all understand where we're at now? Do you understand that this is the end of the world? This is the end of the world. Let me show you, uh, uh, let me just show you pictures in a row. I'm just going to click. There's Lady Gaga. I mean, there is Lady Gaga at the MTV Awards. That's a scorpion stinger, guys. She's sitting there, and that's a scorpion stinger. Cardi B, same thing. Uh, the coach uh, from, I think, the Chiefs, I showed you the exact same thing. Let me show you a bumper sticker, a window sticker, whatever. You see the W and the J? Yeah? It's a scorpion. Look at it. It's a rudimentary scorpion. That's a scorpion. The W. Let's look at J. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J. You know what J is? 10. You know what 10 is? Let me show it to you. Destruction. Abaddon. Place of destruction. Abaddon, destruction. Destruction, W, J, destruction. Let me show you what the Bible says. In the end, there will be no, in Revelation 22, there shall be no more curse. I want everybody to say this word out loud. There shall be no more curse. Everybody say it. Say it with me. This, the, the new kingdom that's coming for us, there shall be no more curse. There shall be no more kata. Say it. Say the word in Greek. There shall be no more kata. There shall be no more curse. There shall be no more kata. No more down. Let me show you. Watch. Ready? K-A-T-A. -A. Kata. Kata. Pronunciation. Pronunciation. Preposition. Down in place. Curse, 2568, there shall be no more curse. 25, I'm sorry, 2652. 20, I'm sorry, 2652. Oh, I'm sorry, that's, I got to walk it back. Uh, I'm sorry, that threw me off just a little bit. Let me go to your sword so I can show you exactly. I don't like showing you something and have it not add up. So I, I want to show you where that number, where that number comes from. Here, here it is. There shall be no more curse. Kata anathema. So kata anathema from 2596. Preposition down. And the word anathema, uh, the word anathema means a horrible imprecation. Just go type in definition of anathema. And anathema is just something awful, horrible, like a curse. There shall be no more curse. Down anathema. Okay, now watch this. Kata. See it? K-A-T-A -A right there? Kata. What year is it, guys? What year? It's 2020. So, if you get out a $20 bill and you look at your $20 bill, you know what? Let's just look, let's just look one up. Let's just look one up. 
Okay, so here's a $20 bill right here, right? So what year is it? What year is it? It's 2020. See, 2020, what year is it? It's 2020 right now. What about vision? What's perfect vision? 2020 is also perfect vision, isn't it? So let's say the enemy's vision has gone to, remember the Lord told me put the other eye on the dragon and I thought it was the weirdest thing. I'm like, you want me to put another eye on the other dragon? There's one that's up, there's one that's down on that wall in the little church. Lord told me go do it. I was grinding metal and a piece of metal shot into my eye. I always cover my eyes. I had to go to the little emergency clinic and they had to like check my eye and he said, yeah, you have like a little burn mark on your eyeball from the metal hitting it, but it didn't stick. But the Lord told me, I want you to put the other eye on the dragon. Oh, I know why now, because their vision is turning 2020 and it happens to be the year 2020. Are you joking me? I mean, are you kidding? I mean, this is all documented. Everything I'm telling you is documented fact. No one can argue with this. It's a fact. It's on YouTube. I proved it. I videotaped it. I posted it. It's 2020 now, yes or no? Is that a is this a 20 and a 20 on the bill? You know on this bill is the Twin Tower bombing as well as the Pentagon bombing, right? Let me show you what's on that bill. Why is it Why is it that there's a guy wearing a COVID mask on the $20 bill? Here's a guy wearing a COVID mask and there's a I was wondering, why is this big plate on his forehead? What's that all about? I couldn't figure it out back in the days when I was decrypting the U.S. currency. I was like, why does that guy have that big plate? Jackson have this big plate on his forehead. Well, let me show you what the new masks are, the new face masks. Okay, now everybody just stop and soak that up for a minute. <clears throat> everybody just sit here and look at this face mask and soak it up. Just soak that up for a minute. Say it out loud. Say it out loud. Say it out loud. Kata. Say it out loud. Say it out loud. And get your biggest spatula. You got to be kidding me. The name of the face mask or Kata. <laughs> and there's a guy on the $20 bill, 2020. It's year 2020. And he just happens to be wearing a Kata mask <laughs> Satan you just got your ass handed to you bro you just got your ass handed to you and all you little minions that serve him y'all just got your asses handed to you <laughs> by the Lord God and I'm here to deliver it you just got your ass handed to you <laughs> Kata wow that's weird that's what that says there shall be no more kata anathema kata let's see i'm looking at the bible it says kata right there k-a-t-a -A, 2596 preposition down oh weird kata that's crazy oh guys i told you this was i told you this was going to be a night of spatulas didn't i we're just getting warmed up <laughs> Satan, you just got your ass handed to you, bro. <laughs> you just got it handed to you. Golly, so now we've solved the scorpions from the pit. That's a resolve thing. There, I'll prove it right now. I'll do it right in front of you. I'll prove it. Okay, there's a, there's Lady Gaga. There's Cardi B. I showed you the coach. You know, I've shown you all these other images hunted for dinner. I've shown you broken promises with scorpions on them. Let me show you the Bible because that's where it all comes from. All right, here we go. Let's let's tear them apart. They had a king over them who is the angel of the bottomless pit, whose name is Abaddon, which is, by the way, I like I like clicking on this because Abaddon, it's the number three. You see it all the time. So when you see the letter C, they're usually telegraphing the number three the destroying angel, Abaddon, which is Satan. See right there, Satan is the angel of the bottomless pit. And who's he the king of? He's the king of the scorpions. It means to pierce a scorpion from its sting. Oh, you mean like Cardi B or like Lady Gaga or like Broken Promises 
or like uh, any of these other clothing lines I've shown you over and over and over again that it's let's take a look at that let's take a look at that mask on that face there you go that's a mask they purposely did the lines on that you can see the change in the ink that's why i drew it all in it was like you can see it well that's why you got the virgin well now that since it switched to this so barca see so barca hawk rob eos hawk rob you're looking at it it says so barca this is Stanley Ann Dunham's passport renewal. It says Barack Hussein Obama Sobarka. Hawk Rob, Scorpion, Eos, Goddess of the Dawn. No one can argue with what I just showed you because it's right in front of you and it's a fact. <laughs> it's just not arguable. Here we go. Let's keep going. There you go, Cardi. That's lovely. Here you go. Here's a clothing line called Hunted for Dinner. And there's their shirt. Stay dangerous. It's a scorpion stinger. See the scorpion stinger? See Cardi B with her glove? I haven't outlined it with a black marker, but you can see it's a scorpion singer. Scorpion singer, scorpion singer, scorpion singer, stay dangerous because I told you in the beginning of this video, the earth is about one thing and one thing only. It's an elaborate hunting system for angels. That's it. That's all it is. It's an elaborate hunting system. Let's look at the Democratic Party, the Democratic Convention, and let's to Pierce. Scorpions, okay. You see the you see this blue arrow piercing these other two legs of the star? And all you have to do is rotate it and it makes the sigil of alphabet. See right here, to pierce, right here? A scorpion from its sting. To pierce. Let's look at that Democratic logo again. To pierce the two. Get it? Uh-huh. It's piercing. That's why they did that. Now, let's rotate it. Because this is the way they operate. Let's just rotate it. There you go. Sigil of Baphomet right there. I mean, come on. Two peers. And they separated the two. Just think of the just think of the, the good you and the bad you. And it two peers. Sigil of Baphomet. I understand their symbology completely now. Well, when I say completely, I'm sure there's more. And the Lord can always show me more. That's why. Why are celebrities dressing like it's 1996? Do we give a rat's ass? Why are celebrities dressing like it's 1996? What's 19? Everybody knows that. Everybody knows 19 is slaughter. What's 96? 96 is failing to pass the test. Failing to pass a test, unapproved, counterfeit. So we're in their system, and unless we become one of them, we don't pass a test. So they slaughter us. That's why celebrities are dressing like it's 1996. Because they're so fabulous. They're so cool. They're so wonderful. They should be telling us how to live our lives, right? Oh, my God. <laughs> it's like, yeah. Yeah, y'all starting to get this? Do we give a rat's ass why you're dressing like it's 1996? No, we don't. Yeah, so let's see. It's going to take a minute to populate. So, Brittany, Brittany, now you're making all kinds of sense, aren't you? Brittany with the little Eos lip balm, Eos, Goddess of the Dawn. There she is. Goddess of the Dawn. She's walking out like the Goddess of the Dawn with the reflection right there. I showed you every number on this, whatever that, you know, uh, scene board is where they snap the board. Every scene on that is on a up and a lost thing. So a up and a lost thing. Even the division symbol for it in math. Look, a division symbol is a bar with a circle up and one down. Even a division symbol. So let me let me in, let me just enlarge this for you. There it is. Up, down, ana, kata. These are all division symbols. What did Jesus say about any kingdom divided against itself? Oh, he said it's brought to desolation. Their kingdom is desolate now. That's why the Lord took me to the desert. And when he took me to the desert, he had me literally look down amongst 
trillions, trillions and trillions of rocks. And he told me to look down and I looked down and he said, pick up those two black rocks. They were, they were apart. They weren't, they were apart in the, in the rocks, in the riverbed. And he said, now put them together. And the two are one. And I'll just get that to where it's nice. And you can tell that's the same exact rock. There's no fake in that, folks. You can't fake that. You cannot fake this. This is the rock that I stand on, knowing that there's two that have been made one. How many times have you seen me do it? His purpose was to make one new man from the two, thus making peace. And he actually gave me a rock in a stream in the desert. It's because I was obedient and I went to the desert willing to die. I thought I'd for sure have to go die in the desert. I said, I'm cool with that, whatever. Let's go do it. <laughs> I document everything. Satan, you just got your ass handed to you, bro. Handed to you. This must suck to be you right now, right? Yeah. Anyway, sorry guys, I've taken a lot of flack. <laughs> okay, now let's let's keep going because there's more. Now let's start looking at let okay, here we go. Now as I'm gonna just show you magnets. I'm gonna start with the mag a magnetic system. Okay, so you have these different poles, right? And this is the way the energy works with a magnetic system. Let me show you something. Let me show you. Here's a movie by Tom Hanks called Cast Away. Get it? Cast Away. Opposite directions. Get it? That's, that's the, if you go look at the film Cast Away with Tom Hanks, look at the letter A. Just like us, we were cast away because of our infidelity with the Lord God. We were willing to commit spiritual adultery is what we did. Now, watch this. Metallica, the band. I just saw this the other day. Like, oh, I get it. There you go. Watch that. Death magnetic. Look at the letter D. See it? Oh, it's a U magnetic it's opposite direction see like a u that way and a u that way see it with the magnetic field and look and then here's a host body and they're making fun of the spirit that's inside of you there's no way to get out because this is a representation of you you're trapped within a death magnetic system that's why that's why it was so important that I understood the magnetic. The Lord made sure I had physics even because when you flip one pole, like if you take two magnets and you push them together like this and they won't go together because there's an invisible force, they won't. But if one gets turned upside down, bam, they snap together. Well, that's what happened to us coming into the system. We got snapped together and we're in, we're inside of a host body, but the two, the two energies are in opposition to each other and we can't get out of the host body. If we die in that position, we go to the pit. But if we get converted, turned quite around, then the magnetic system goes bam and the two become one. And his purpose was to make one new man from the two, thus making Peace. You're no longer in opposition to yourself. You got converted. 100% nylon. <laughs> I told you. 100% nylon clock. That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. I'm like, I know, right? Isn't it crazy? And it's the secret of everything? Turn it upside down. 100% no lion. Told you. My testimony stands as perfection now. Satan, you just got your ass handed to you again. <laughs> I love it. So, Biden and Harris. Look at the E for Biden. One, two, three. One, two, three. Angel of the bottomless pit. Look at Harris. The clenched fist. See the clenched fist for the eye? Uh, look at this product. Rye, Riz, 
Risley, but it's Rise. Why, why is there a scorpion in the middle of it? Here's uh, some of the new clothing. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna go through it. Look, dose the world like dose the world like LSD. But look, see the mouth right here with the tongue sticking out and the two eyes. That's because the world's gonna split open, and what's gonna come out? What's inside? The the angel of the bottomless pit. It says it in Revelation nine. There's a great earthquake, and out of the pit there came smoke, and out of the smoke there came locusts upon the earth with tails like scorpions like cardi b and madonna and and lady gaga and all these other girls that have sold themselves out that are part of that system okay here we go here's a really great shirt lurking class you know the one that turns to a bug he has upside down stars on both sides of his hat see it vote or die Lurking class. Wow. Vote or die. Wow. That's pretty interesting. With two sigil of Baphomets on your shirt. Uh, let's look at this one. Because they know it was a trick trying to get angels to go to what they said was another paradise. Last in paradise. No hours. No hours last in paradise. Because it got turned upside down. What do you do with an hourglass? You turn it upside down. Then the sand runs out. When there's no more sand, time's up. Get it? And it shows the glass broken. And death has come out now. What do you think is coming for the whole world now? Death. It's right here on a t-shirt. See? It got turned upside down. And it spilled out all the sand. There's no tower. No hours. No hours. You're out of time. Last in paradise. There you go. And so the sands run out. Your little paradise island is over. The world is coming to an end. That's what all this is. I'm just going to go through these and show them to you. Music is a weapon. Music is a weapon. See the X? It makes an X with the lightning bolt. Who's the lightning bolt? And I beheld Satan as lightning fall from heaven. Music is a weapon. The music these days is a weapon. Here's a t-shirt. I'm going to enlarge it and show you the picture right here. Work all day, then you die, okay? What's at the end of then you die? An insect. Wow, killer acid. So there's an insect, but look at look at die. Does that look like a number, like 310? It sure does to me. I know it is because you just turn it upside down and you can see exactly what it is. Work all day, then you die. Let's see what 310 is. The, the hind or following part. The part that comes last. So 310 means the hind or the following part or the part that comes last. Well, what's on the picture? What's the part that comes last? An insect right here. That's what comes last. Then you die. So there you go. Killer acid. So see, they put it on their clothing right in front of you. They put it on your face mask that everybody's wearing. Let me show you. Uh, here's another. Oh, this one's great. Let's do this one. Here's another t-shirt. And look at this. It's called... Last crush. Why does she only have three fingernails with that finger bent like that? Because her hands are wrapped her as well. <laughs> I haven't even done the Genesis 1 video. I told you it's going to change the world forever. And this just supports it completely now. <laughs> so crazy. That's a raptor hand, guys. See it? Last crush. Well, let's look at this. 333105. That's how many stash points you can get. So let's see. 333 and then 105. 333 on a thorough. Oh, to observe carefully up as in completing a process. Properly consider thoroughly, literally up and down. So you're telling me that this this shirt right here 
that started as a serpent race with this girl crying like her last crush because there's not they've already destroyed us last crush she's got a raptor hand and 333 which means completing a process completing a process and then 105 105 a bird of prey an eagle where the vo there is the vultures will be gathered that's uh, to all the birds that fly in the midst of heaven come join you for the, the feast of the great god prepared by the great god you can play Feast on the flesh of captains, kings, and mighty men. Yeah, probably nothing to worry about. <laughs> Can you guys believe what you're seeing today? <laughs> it's insane. It's like, huh? Yeah, completing a process and bird of prey. A bird of prey. It's exactly what they are. They're birds of prey. Devils roll the dice and angels roll their eyes. Okay, let's keep going. Now it's time to do the COVID stuff. Let's do COVID now. Kata face mask. Let's just let's just take a moment and think about what you're looking at. There you go. Kata. Kata face mask. I mean, just I want you to just wrap your brain around what you're looking at. These are face masks that are for sale in the general public. There's different brands, and I notice almost all the brands are cryptic, all of them. Almost every single one I've seen has a cryptic meaning. They know that this is the sign that they're going to slaughter us. Kata, down. And when you lift up the lid, one's upside down, one's right side up. Hey, you don't think they know this? 50 pieces, no. That's <laughs> so obvious. Okay, here we go. Then I went into the store and I looked up. I'm like, oh, wow, they were selling belts. They were called Crossbreed. Crossbreed. Get it? Because if you're one of us, you were crossbred. Can't find the Crossbreed product you're looking for. Look at that. Crossbreed. Really? Get it? Crossbreed. Okay, here we go. Let's see, another set of masks. These these were at Home Depot. It says Tommy Copper Face Mask. And they're $14 and some change. It says $14.97. And then it says that's only $7.49 per mask. Do we care why well, do we care how much it is per mask? $7.49 per mask. They put that there because seven is to destroy. To destroy by purification. Yeah, that's another mask in Home Depot. Seven forty nine to destroy by purification of the race. Remember Lady Gaga? My performance at the Grammy Awards is about a new race of beings being birthed within the human race. Told you. Here it is. It's here. This is it. Purification. And that's what the COVID thing's all about. So let me keep showing you some more COVID stuff. And we we'll keep going. That here's a COVID testing thing in San Antonio. I looked up, I was like, you gotta be kidding me. Look at this. Right side up, upside down DNA. One's right side up, one's upside down. They made sure they got the letter C in there. Angel of the bottomless pit. Angel of the bottomless pit. Sheep slaughter. COVID nineteen. Ready? C is the letter three. I'm going to show it to you. The letter three. Abaddon, the angel of the bottomless pit. I'm going to spell out COVID for you. So C is the number three. Abaddon, the angel of the abyss. Ovid means sheep. Ovid means sheep. Sheep herder, Ovid, sheep herder. 
Yeah, that's so funny how they try and change stuff. Latin, Latin, Ovid, Abaddon, sheep, and then what's the number? 19. Strong's 19. Slaughter. Abaddon, sheep, slaughter. Number C. Abaddon. Ovid. Sheep, herder, sheep. Slaughter. COVID testing. Right side up, upside down. Album 5. I did a little video when I saw it. This sign on the highway. I want to make a point right here. What you're looking at is you're looking at this sign on the highway. They showed 96. I don't believe that for a second. It's I saw 96 go across the, the screen. 96 Fahrenheit? Highway. No, I don't believe that for a second. It's been way hotter than 96. COVID testing, I want you to look at the logo for the COVID. This is just unbelievable. I'm gonna pull up and I will snap. There you go, look at that logo. C, it's Abaddon, right side up, upside down DNA. Two different DNAs meeting, see it? Do you, do you, do you understand what you're looking at? With Taylor Swift and the Raptor Claw. I mean, do you, do you guys really understand what you're looking at? You're looking at the spiritual takeover of the human host body system right out in front of you everywhere. Everywhere. Everything I've shown you is that. All the clothing lines, all the t-shirts, all the videos, all these people. It's, it's everything. And when it's everything, it becomes nothing. That's what they did. They made it everything so it would be nothing. So uh, how dare you question it? Oh, you're crazy. No, 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 no. You just got your ass handed to you, Satan. There you go. No, nope, there it is. You're looking right at it. COVID testing. See the cross on both sides? Yep, that's why they did it. This is just phenomenal, guys. I mean, I'm just, my brain is blown. Okay, let's look at these. Here's just another example after I saw the COVID testing. The hilltop at Chavano, look at the logo, right side up, upside down. So they made the letter H, but they made like, it looks like an upside down, right side up J. See it? Look at the logo. The logos give it all away. The right side up, upside down paradigm gives it all away. And then as I went through the store, an FFG, what's F? Six six four, so no. Let's see, six six seven, to carry off, to carry away, to carry away. Look, to bring away focuses on back from its original condition, from so someone was carried away from, carried away from your original condition. Six six seven. That's a mask, you guys. That is a face mask. Look. FFG right there, 667. So even on these face masks, FFG, 667, she'd be carried away from your original condition. I mean, you couldn't even think this. Up. So all their little face masks, all their little signs, all their little cryptic world is falling apart on them now, isn't it? It's all being exposed. You know what the Bible says in the end, everything that's secret will be made public. I already showed you this. I mean, why would you say get G'd up? Get G'd up. Like geared up. Get G'd up. Destroy up. Seven up. Get it? You're in a system where down destroys up during the cycle. 100% nylon. Turn it upside down, Jonathan. I think God's speaking to me. He was, and he is. Amen. So there it is. Now, let me just kind of scan through because there's so much stuff I added. There's so much stuff. Oh, here we go. 
let me show you Fallen Kingdom real quick. Watch this. Let me show you this. I want to show you a scene. Okay, here we go. Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. Okay, so watch this. So this raptor's inner room. Look what's on the bed here. Watch this. Look what's on the bed. Okay, hang on. You know what? Let me do this. Let me turn the volume off. Okay, so let's see. Okay, here we go. Okay, so watch this. As the shadow of the the sir the the I'm sorry. As the shadow of the raptor comes into the room, it it goes across a tree. I know I wouldn't watch this movie. I wouldn't watch these clips. The tree is a bunch of butterflies flying away. The tree. So here comes the shadow of the raptor representing that serpent race in the tree, the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, and it would produce another race. Look. So here we go. Watch. See the shadow of the raptor coming across the tree? And as you look at this scene, here it comes. And then it's going to come to the little girl's bed. Now look what's on her bed. Watch this. There is a sheepskin on her bed. You're telling me there happens to be a sheepskin on her bed and there's a blanket that's like a cocoon? Really? That's funny. That's all the elements and everything I've been showing you. You hunt the souls of men to make your pillows fly. The largest altar in the world is a dead sheep. People draw pictures of me with dead sheep on my face, and I call them out on it. Oh, wow. Check it out. So here comes a raptor. Look at the tree, and it shows all. Oh, there's butterflies. See all the butterflies? All the butterflies leaving now representing their new race that would be formed. There's two trees. There's one tree here and another tree here, and it's producing all these butterflies. Look at the sheepskin on the bed. I mean, what are you kidding me? Now, look. Look at the raptor claw reaching up to get the little girl that's a... By the way, she's a clone of her mommy in this movie. Don't forget that. She's a clone of her own mother. Now, look what's on the end of the bed. See the sheepskin? And then look at the quilted blanket. See it? Like a cocoon. Look. And there's your raptor claw coming. This is all real, you guys. The truth hidden right in front of our faces in all these movies. All the stuff we watch. Everything we do. And we've been programmed since our eyes opened in this world. Arise, O sleeper. Wake up from the dead. Takes on a whole new meaning, doesn't it? Because when you wake up, wake up from the dead. Wake up from the dead, and Christ will give you light. He'll turn darkness to light. He'll turn Satan to God. That's how you get converted. All right. Did y'all get your spatulas in? <laughs> I almost feel bad. I was just like, uh. all right, guys. I love you in Christ. This is you. This is me. I'm going to give you a group hug. I love you guys. We're going to be okay. Let me tell you something, guys. Don't be afraid of anything. You know that it, Jesus said you'll know the truth and the truth will set you free. What's to be scared of when you're not, when you know the truth? It's like, yeah, you know, I can see you having to, you know, have a, a uh, couple rough moments, you know, going down, but whatever. Who cares? I've already had lots of rough moments. But we also have our hope in the church, the Bride of Christ, uh, the Church of Philadelphia. Because you've kept the word of my patience, I will keep you from the hour of testing. I don't know exactly when that hour of testing starts. I don't know what exactly the buttons the switch flipping is but i can assure you i can assure you the enemy is about to flip the switch and they're about to take stage front and center very very quickly so i love you i'm warning you i'm giving you a heads up be at peace be at peace fear not 
Greater is he who is in me than he who is in the world. Don't be afraid, guys. We know the truth. I'm the indictment. <laughs> the Lord's using me as an indictment to their whole damn system. They're in trouble with the boss. And we are children of the boss. And we are, Jacob, we are the usurpers. We are the supplanters. We're literally taking over their whole system. We take over their system and they hate us. That's why Jacob, the supplanter, becomes Yisrael. He will rule as El, the Almighty God, through us because we all become the temple of El, Emmanuel. With us is El, the Almighty God. We become his new temple. How cool is that? I love you guys. Peace and grace. Group hug. All right. Y'all, Folder 5 is a mind blower. Folder 5 Part 2. Y'all need to spend some time in there yourself and just go look at it all. It is a mind blower. <laughs> There's so much supernatural data in there. Anyway, all right, guys. Well, I don't want to just keep on ranting. But, uh, yeah, Taylor Swift. Well, devils roll the dice. Angels roll their eyes. What's with the raptor claw, Taylor? Uh, creepy, huh? All right, guys. Peace and grace.